What's going on everybody? Cigar Show Tim here. And I'm gonna do something that you have probably wondered about for a long time. Cutting open a Cuban cigar and seeing what's inside. I've been told that this is a genuine article, Monte Cristo cigar, right there. I'm sure I'll get in the comments, people going, no it's not, yes it is, no it's not, no it's not, it's trash, it's real, it's trash, it's real. Well, let's cut open this Monte Cristo and see what's inside and find out for ourselves. Is it a long filler, genuine article, or is it not and it filled with short filler and it's not a real Cuban? Either way, let's cut this open. Okay, so not too long ago, I was gifted this humidor right here by a buddy of mine. And he said, take the cigars that are inside. I've been rehumidifying them for a while. Hopefully you can revive them and enjoy them because I don't smoke cigars anymore and I know you would enjoy them. And I, of course, graciously accepted and said, thank you very much. And I'll make sure that the cigars get rehumidified and see how they are. So inside here came about 40 cigars. Some of them were New World cigars, and some of them were allegedly Cuban cigars. According to my friend, they were the genuine article. So let's cut open one of the Monte Cristos and see for sure if we can figure that out for ourselves and, well, what's inside. Okay, so I've got a second camera that I'm gonna jump down to now, and we're gonna look as we cut open this cigar and see for ourselves, is this a genuine article or is it not? So. Here we go. We can look here and we can see that this Monte Cristo cigar right here has the band on it. Rotate it around and get that out of the way. So we do this here, rotate it around. Monte Cristo right there. And you can see that the foot right there has a little bit of the wrapper leaf missing. So let's cut it open and see what happens. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can slide the band off. If it will come off, it does come off easily. So there's the band right there. We'll set that just off to the side right there. Okay, I've got my knife and there's really no pretty way to do this. So I am just going to cut in and slice my way down. All right, got that part pretty much done. Let's finish it up towards here, towards the cap. And let's see what we've got. So what we've got here is the first layer is the wrapper leaf. And then we, underneath that, we have the binder, as you can see right there. As we open it up more, let's take off the wrapper leaf that's on there. There's the cap, the wrapper leaf. Okay. Here we can see this is the binder of the cigar. This is what holds all the tobacco that's inside it easily together so that you can put the wrapper leaf on the cigar. So as we open this up, we can see here, I'm trying to do it so it'll sort of pry open. It's probably not gonna come clean and easy, so let's just do this. Let's cut it and just really get into it. All right, so let's open this up here and let's see what we find. So we've got the binder. I'm gonna try and take it off in layers so that we can see how it all is. So again here that I'm taking off is the binder leaf. So there's the binder leaf right there, as you can see, sitting there, move that to the side. And then this is the tobacco that they used to fill the cigar with. You can see there's some darker shade, some lighter shade, some different changes. But what I'm not finding in here is what appears to be short filler. If you look, it looks like it is pretty much long filler tobacco in here. And it's not 100% rehydrated, rehumidified. But if we look, we can see that it's not just completely filled with shavings. It actually has 
some bunched up tobacco from when they rolled it. So if we pull that apart there. Yep, I'm making a mess, that's how it goes. All in the name of science, right? So this all here is long filler tobacco. And what I don't find is the little shavings. Yes, you can see on the desk here, you can see quite a few little shavings and little pieces of tobacco, but that's just stuff that's broken off. And there we've got a little bit of a stem part of it. But that's what we have. So let's switch back up to the upper camera. Okay, so when we cut open the cigar, or when we cut it first, we got the wrapper. We then got down to the binder, which you can see right here. And then inside we have the filler, which is all this right here. And we look, and typically when you find a cigar that is not a Cuban, it tends to have short filler tobacco in it. Now what's the difference between short filler and long filler? So short filler is basically all the clippings. So everything that you just saw on my table, that would be considered short fill. It's all the little scraps that's left over when they make a cigar and they cut off the extra tobacco off the foot or when they're rolling it and they cut off you know, what they need to. All those little scraps, those get reused and put into other cigars as short filler cigars. Long filler cigars is where you take an entire tobacco leaf and the whole length of it is bunched up or is put into sections that are a little bit longer than the length of the actual cigar. But when you put them into the cigar and then chop off what the extra part is, you've got the perfect amount of a full leaf or a portion of a full leaf, depending on how the blend was done. But it's not little choppings and shavings of tobacco leaf like you would find in a short filled cigar. But inside here, as I demolished this one cigar, you can see that it didn't have short filler tobacco. It had long filler tobacco, a good binder wrapped around it, and a really nice wrapper around the outside of the cigar. And on the cap of the cigar, it was a traditional cap. Nothing special or different about that. But let me show you the cap here. So we zoom in, you can see the cap right there. So just a traditional, typical cap for a cigar. But we learned and we saw that it appears that this is a genuine article, that this is a genuine Cuban cigar. Now I know there's gonna be naysayers that say, Tim, so they took one that had long filler tobacco in it and they slapped the Monte Cristo band on it and they fooled you. You might be right on that. But from everything I've seen, for the most part, I'll give that little caveat, for the most part, every time I've seen a knockoff Cuban, it's had short filler cigars or hair or different things that are inside that cigar that you definitely do not want to be smoking. Even though you don't inhale the smoke, I don't want to be sucking on a cigar and have burnt hair aroma smoke go into my mouth. That just doesn't sound appetizing. But when you cut this open, does it appear to be a genuine Cuban? From everything that I can tell, it does appear to be a genuine Cuban. So when you're out looking for Cuban cigars, obviously overseas, if you order them online, whatever the case may be, there are times where some people that I know that when they order their Cubans, they get them in and they actually cut one open just to make sure it is what they got when they place their first order. Because if it's not what they thought they were ordering, then, well, frankly, they're never going to order from that person again. But they want to make sure that they're getting the genuine article, at least what they're told. So everything that I can see from the band to the tobacco that was used, the way that it was roll bunched, then uh, wrapped with a binder, and then rolled with the wrapper leaf on the outside and the cap put on, everything to me says that inside this cigar and what it's made of is the genuine article. So leave some comments down below. What do you do about Cuban cigars? Have you checked out and opened up or cut up one of your cigars in the past to see what's inside it? Have you never had the guts to do it because you thought, oh, if it's a genuine article, I just ruined X amount of dollars. Hopefully you can see by this that sometimes it's worth doing. This one fortunately turned out well. But you've now seen what is inside a Cuban cigar. Leave some comments down below. What are your thoughts? Have you ordered Cuban cigars yourself? 
Do you have any? Do you, you know, routinely get them? Do you go out of the country to pick them up and bring them back in, which we are allowed to do? You are allowed a certain allotment of Cuban cigars to import or bring in to the country when you travel abroad, in case you didn't know that. But leave some comments down below. I'd love to continue the conversation there. I hope you learned a little bit more about Cuban cigars and what they should look like when you cut them open. Above all else, enjoy your cigar journey, everybody. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, I'll see you.